In this video, I'm going to be installing this washing machine outlet box using PEX pipe and two inch PVC for the drain lines. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel is all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask in return for making this video. So what you're going to find in this box and no matter what brand it is, it's usually going to be about the same thing inside these outlet boxes. So what we got in here is we got the actual box and then it comes with these straps and then all these straps do is clip on the sides and then gives you a way to anchor it to the two by four wall and or two by six wall depending on what you have framing for framing material then inside we got a hot shutoff valve and a cold shutoff valve and this is going to be connected using pex depending on which model outlet box you got where the water lines connect to the shutoff valves could be connected either via shark bite push fit connections or it could be the PEX connections that you see here. Here I got to use an actual tool to clamp the PEX ring around the PEX to hold it in place. So check that before you buy the box so you know what your skill set is and what you need. So this is going to be the trap that I'm going to be installing under the outlet box. So it's going to go something like this. We're going to have the drain line come down, hit the trap, and then the trap's going to go down into the main drain line. And then what we're going to be using for the pressure lines, like I already said earlier, are these PEX pipes. So we got red for the hot, blue for the cold. And just FYI, the color of the pipe does not matter if it's hot or cold. It's just a way to indicate what's hot or cold. So if you use blue for your hot and cold, that's fine. So just wanted to let you know that in case you're really anal about which color to get. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is install these drain lines, so let's get started. So right here in this space is where the outlet box is gonna go. So I'm gonna put a trap through here, and then the drain line's gonna go down to the main drain. So I'm actually gonna start from this side and work this way, so that way I can set that outlet box on top of that trap instead of trying to butt up into it. It's very difficult to do that. So what I'm gonna do is go from here and start running the pipe. And I'm just using regular PVC cement and purple primer. So you always got to make sure you use primer around each of your joints. It helps soften the plastic up so it makes a very good bond. I just wanted to throw this little time lapse in here of doing this drain. This is primarily for people who have never done plumbing before. You just want to make sure you give a quarter inch per foot drop. As you can see here in this video, I got a nice little slope going into the main drain there. So that's really critical for plumbing. And as you can see, I'm holding tension on the fittings right where the butt is in the joint because whenever you glue a joint of PVC, you always gotta hold it for at least 10 to 15 seconds. It gives that glue time to set up and adhere. Also, make sure you give the pipe a quarter inch turn when you glue the joints together as well. Something I wanted to point out real quick about this trap as you can see, we're set towards the back end of that stud. And the reason why is if you look at where the pipe has to go into this box, it's towards the back side of the box. So it's a good idea to go ahead and offset the trap back towards the inside of that two by four so it lines up properly. Now it's time to start working on setting this outlet box. So we know that we want the bottom of this outlet box to be 43 inches, okay? So we're going to measure up off our floor, 43 inches, and then we're going to make a mark on our 2x4 stud. So we need to come within this area right there. So we're, if we hold it up here, we see that our 2 inch pipe is going to fit right into the bottom of that outlet box, okay? So all we got to do is take our tape measure and put it down into the trap fitting down to where the pipe's going to end into it measure up to that mark and we got 25 inches so we need to cut a piece of pipe 25 inches and as you can see that's why i don't install this first is because you don't have any wiggle room to move this left or right to line up with this trap and you also don't have a way to twist this pipe to get a good fitting with the pvc cement so let's go ahead and cut that pipe and get this baby installed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime the pipe just as you normally would when you're going to install any PVC pipe. Let that dry just for a moment. And you also wanna prime the inside 
of your outlet box too, where the pipe's going to be going in. So let's go ahead and do that. Now take your PVC cement and we're gonna go ahead and install this pipe right into that trap. So go ahead and get a liberal amount of glue around that pipe. It looks really good. So just push it down, give it a quarter turn and hold it into place just for a moment. So at this time, this is when I like to take the straps that come with the box. I'll install the strap on one side. You just push it right into the box until it clips into place. Then take your other one, same thing, put it in the box, push it in until it clips into place. Then we're gonna set it right where it goes on top of that pipe. So all we're doing here is just making sure we have it square with the wall. So before I glue it, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this pipe to where it lines up so it's square. So when I know and I set this with real glue on it, it's already gonna be setting square without me having to think about it. Let's go ahead and pop all that off. So now I pull those straps back off because I just needed them to make sure that we're on there square. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and glue this on. So put a liberal bead of cement around your PVC pipe, then put glue inside of your outlet box to where the pipe's gonna be heading. And then we go ahead and pop it on and make sure we give it a good twist when we put it on there. And then we're gonna line our marks up that we made so we know we're square. So now just hold pressure down on it until the glue sets up. Usually it takes about 10 to 15 seconds. So now that we got it glued on, we just reinstall these straps and they just slide right into those clip on areas. And now all we got to do is take a impact driver drill with the number two Phillips bit and use drywall screws. Some people use roofing nails and then hold this to where it looks nice and straight up and down. Then just secure it with your drywall screws. And you'll see there's little holes in these flanges for screws. And now that we're secure, we need to work on installing these pressure lines. Let's get to it. Now you need to get a 5 8 inch drill bit and a drill to accommodate half inch pipe because we're going to have to put the pipe down through the floor in this case. So what you need to do to transcribe the marks is measure off your stud. Looks like we got 6 inches and 8 and 3 eighths. So we need to transcribe that off the stud on the floor to go down below. So we're going to measure over six inches and eight and three eighths. We're going to make a mark. All right. And as you notice from above and this drain is kind of back towards the inside of this wall, we got to keep our pressure lines out towards the front of this plate. So we're going to go back just about three quarters of an inch here. Now it's time to install our PEX. This is PEX type B and this is going to get crimp rings on it and we're going to use the red color for the hot side and the blue color for the red side. So all we got to do is get our half inch crimp rings, slide them over the pipe first, just like that. And now we just slide it up over the fitting like so. And we try to stay about an eighth inch down from the end of that fitting. And now what I like to do, I just take a pair of, a pair of uh, pliers and just crimp it on enough to hold it into place to, so it doesn't slide around. Then I take my crimping tool and then it's going to crimp that ring on there tight and it's never going to come off unless you cut it off. Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing with our hot side. Slide it over, get it about an eighth inch from the fitting. And like I said, I like to use my needle nose to crimp it on temporarily. And then we're going to go ahead and get that one fastened. Boom. So now we got a fitting that is never going to have a leak unless improperly installed. I know a lot of people are going to ask about this knockout and how it's sealed off where the drain line's going. And what that's for is you take a hammer and you smash it in after your pressure test is done. So they go ahead and do that for you so it's convenient so you don't have to worry about plugging it up later. So that's a nice perk. So the last two pieces in your kit is this piece of trim that goes on after you install your drywall. It gives your shark bite box a nice finished look. And then we got this knockout plug. So in case you knock out the wrong side, you can just take this plug and glue it into place so you don't have to worry about that being exposed. 
So here is what the finished product's going to look like. So we got our drain going to our trap and then over here it goes down to the main drain. And then this is your vent pipe going up and it's going to connect to your main stack to give your washing machine plenty of vent. If you're interested in any of these products that were used in this video, I'll put a link in the description for this clamping tool and for the outlet box. And I'm affiliate to Home Depot, so I may get a small percentage if you use the link and I appreciate that. All right, guys, I got a lot of plumbing I get done, so I'm going to go ahead and get this video wrapped up and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Peace.